Hello guys, objective of this video is to find out the Gaussian integrate or sometimes I call it integration of Gaussian function and to validate does it equals to square root of pi. Let's define g equals to integration from 0 to infinity of the Gaussian function. g is the answer and it is a quantity. So which means even though we change the variable let's say to e power negative y square dy the answer also equal to g as long as the equation is the same the variable can be changed to y in fact it can change to t 0 to infinity e power negative t square dt that is the first note second if you look at our question we are looking for negative infinity to positive infinity but our g definition is 0 to infinity which but but that do worry the gaussian function is symmetry the left and the right are the same which mean in order to get uh, actual gaussian integral from negative infinity to positive infinity it is simply equals to 2 integrate 0 to infinity which is equals to 2g so once this is clear we will move on to the Feynman equation now in Feynman equation for solving this problem we define ft equals to integration 0 to infinity e power negative t square where t is a Feynman variable we define here multiply x square plus 1 over x square plus 1 over dx now if you notice that if we put the t equals to 0 what happened so let's put t equals to 0 into the equation we have f 0 equals to integration 0 to infinity of e power 0 over x square plus 1 over dx because e power 0 is 1 so we have 0 to infinity 1 over x square plus 1 dx to evaluate this integration is quite easy I have another 1 minutes video you can see on the screen but here I will just tell you the answer integration of 1 over x square plus 1 is equals to the tangent inverse of x infinity to 0 which is tangent inverse of infinity minus tangent inverse 0 tangent inverse infinity is pi over 2 tangent inverse 0 is 0 so the answer is pi over 2 the answer of f0 is pi over 2 now on the other hand we also want to know what happens if t goes to infinity so we have a f infinity equals to integration 0 infinity e power negative infinity over x square plus 1 dx so we know for the Gaussian function Okay, this is a Gaussian function if x goes to the infinity the Gaussian function will go to 0 which means it is integration of 0 over x square plus 1 dx which is simply 0 this is f infinity simply equals to 0 we will need these two answer in the letter calculation next Let's go back to our original definition of ft. Differentiation to the left hand and the right hand side. So over dt. Which means we have a partial differentiate inside the integration. Now remember, here we are integrate over dx, but the differentiation is over dt. Let me repeat, 
the integration is over dx but the differentiation inside the integration is over dt or del t because it's multi variable okay so in the left hand side this is simply a f prime in the right hand side the integration is still there differentiation of the exponential negative t power 2 multiply x power 2 plus 1 over dt is simply the differentiation of the top which is negative 2t multiply x square plus 1 and then the original terms which is e negative t square x square plus 1 divided by x square plus 1 dx so here is clear the x power 2 plus 1 will be cancel each other so therefore uh, we have f prime t is integration of 0 to infinity of negative 2 t exponential negative t power 2 x square plus 1 over dx first we take out the negative 2 t because now we are integrate over dx t is constant so we take out and then integrate 0 infinity for this exponential you can split to two terms it becomes e power negative t square multiply e power negative tx square dx because e power negative t square negative t square is constant why we differentiate over dx so we can take it out again negative 2t e power negative t square integrate e power negative tx square dx now here we need to play one trick we define y is dx so therefore dx is 1 over t dy let's replace y and uh, dx into the equation so we have a uh, f prime t so this one replace to here this one replace to here equals to negative 2t e power negative t square integrate 0 to infinity e negative y square multiply 1 over t dy okay of course the t here and t here can be cancelled so it become negative 2 e power negative t square integrate 0 to infinity e power negative e y square over dy now look at this term this term if you refer to our original definition it is equal to g g is a, a final answer of the integration from 0 to infinity so this is g so we can actually replace f prime t is negative 2 g exponential negative t square okay because this term is become g so we are not yet finished we are going to do another trick let's integrate left hand side and the right hand side from 0 to infinity interesting 0 to infinity f prime t dt is equals to negative 2g integration 0 to infinity e negative t square dt interesting eh now interesting in the left hand side integration of f prime t is actually just f t and then we are going to put the infinity and zero as t letter in the right hand side the negative 2g are still there but if you look at this term this term is actually defined equals to g here our original definition of g okay integration from zero to infinity exponentials 
negative t square over dt or, or y or x doesn't matter as long as the equation format is the same so this is another g this is another g multiply another g why because this term is a g it's a g so here in the left hand side you are going to have f infinity minus f zero equals to the right hand side negative 2g power 2 so what is f infinity and f0 lucky us we already find out at the beginning here f infinity is equal to 0 f0 is pi over 2 so therefore here is 0 minus pi over 2 equals to negative 2g square so we are going to find g so g square is pi over 4 and then g is square root of pi over 4 which is 1 over 2 square root of pi so are we finished yet this is a good answer but not the final answer remember at the beginning we define g is integration from 0 to infinity here or okay 0 to infinity but we are looking for negative infinity to positive infinity and we know it is symmetry so it's equal to 2g now we are looking for 2g so if g is is 2g if g is 1 over 2 square root of pi so this one definitely equals to square root of pi so this is our final answer we already proven gaussian integrate or so-called integration of gaussian function is equals to square root of pi in the next video we will discuss some variants and we will also discuss why square root of pi over 2 or the variance of it is important in the normal distribution thank you for watching my video do subscribe to my channel i see you in the next video